guys, it's Dwight, I am back. So I decided to do another pour today, as you can see. And I poured over an older canvas you might have recognized underneath the white paint. So just having some fun, just sort of experimenting again. Um, wasn't sure how this was gonna do, so it's been sitting on time lapse for probably about 45 minutes or so. And um, let's just move in and take a look at some of the, the details. As you can see, look at those pearls, or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> they are everywhere. Now, I used orange and blue. Probably not the best combination. I don't dislike the orange in there, but I think if it was solid blue, it might have been a little more interesting. Now, walk around over here. What I like is that the orange kind of came through over here. It's kind of interesting. <clears throat> I'm noticing when I do these pours that I really do like negative space. I need to have negative space because they're so busy. And if the cells overtake the painting, then I worry that it just looks way too busy. At least this breaks it up a little bit and it gives you some visual interest. So with that in mind, I'm not quite sure how I would hang this one at this point. I don't know if it just looks like that. It looks kind of cool. I guess it's a matter of preference. See that orange spot right there? I was mixing my paint and I tipped over my um, cup and got orange paint all over the place. Um, thankfully, I have a little bit of orange left over and I was able to mix it in. Okay, my friends, enjoy your holiday weekend in America and the rest of you guys have a great weekend coming up. I think I'm going to do a painting in gold, orange, and magenta. That should be interesting. Okay, guys, take care.